I would like to show you a trick to configure your SAP GUI using Windows GPO. Hi everyone and welcome on my YouTube channel. I would like to show you a way to configure your SAP GUI using Windows GPO. So probably an unusual way to use the GPO. First of all, if you are using SAP, probably the company you are working for is not a really small company. So you may already use some software that can help you to create and deploy the client operating system image in your infrastructure. So when your client is ready and you have to assign this computer to a new user, you have to complete the user profile configuration manually. User Lagoon, Outlook configuration, SAP GUI configuration and all other settings related to the user profile. You can use standard GPO to do that, including SAP configuration. Let's see it together. Here we have our Windows 10 client with the SAP GUI installed. And here we have the domain controller. If we open Active Directory User and Computers, we can see that we have two organizational units, the employees, where we have user 1 and the user 2, and the OU contractors, where we have the contractor 01. Okay, let's move on to Windows 10, where we log down using user 1. If we open SAP GUI, we can see that the connections list is empty. So we have to configure new entries. For example, I can configure the connection for SAP production about the business unit 01, application server name, instance number, and system ID PR1 like production one. Okay, I can do the same thing for the test environment or for other business units. For example, business unit two for the production environment and the test environment. Okay, now connection points are ready and let's see where is the path where we put this information. So if we open C volume, users, users01, app data, roaming SAP common, we have the configuration file that is an XML file. Try to open it with the, the WordPad and we can see inside all the connection points we configured on the GUI. Then I can use this file in my GPO. Let's copy it on the NetLogon folder in the domain controller. I can create a new subfolder SAP and copy inside the configuration file. Now I can copy the full path that I will use in my GPO like a source for the configuration file. I open the group policy management and I can create directly here my GPO on the organizational unit employees that contains user one and the user two. So where I want to apply my settings. GPO name will be SAP client. I can edit it and under user configurations, preferences, Windows settings, files, I can create a new file where I can replace the existing one, so I select replace, paste here the source path and let's see where is the destination path. The destination path is this one. The only thing we have to change is the user. So we have to replace user01 with a dynamic user that will be valid for all users of our domain. So we can now copy, edit and paste our destination.
So now we can check again source and target. So the source is the netlogon SAP folder and the target is the user profile. I can log off on the user one and log on again using the user two on the same machine. I will open SAP GUI on the user 02 and I will see the configuration deployed. This works because we applied the GPO to the employees organizational unit where we have user 01 and user 02. In fact, if I log on the same machine with the user contractor 01 that is on another organizational unit, I will see the SAP GUI list connection list empty. Let's try. Okay, open SAP and the list is empty. Okay. Now I can try to link the existing GPO also to the organizational unit that contains the contractor 01 user. So let me take the policy and link on the contractors OU. I can move on the client again, open the command prompt. Let me update the GPO. Okay, now I can open again the SAP GUI and I will see the configuration deployed. So it is a really simple trick that can help you to configure your user in your organization. Well, the GPO is now ready and you can use it to configure automatically the GUI of your users. If you like, you can use this method to configure other ERP systems. The only difference is to find the right path to replace the configuration file. If you like my video, please let me know. See you on my next trick.